Happy Halloween, Foundry users. I'm Gina, and today we're building a hauntology powered rag workflow for optimal monster placement at haunted houses. That's right, it's going to be retrieval augmented ghouling in action. Before we get started, a quick word from our founder. Discover how Palantir customers unlock more value from Foundry and AIP thanks to our live instructor-led trainings. We are Ontologize, a group of former Palantir engineers who love teaching. We've trained thousands of Palantir users at leading organizations around the world. Unlock the full potential of your Palantir deployment by going to ontologize.com. By the end of this exercise, we're going to have the following function. This function can take in a monster, so for example, pumpkin fiend, hit preview run. It's going to look through all of our haunted houses and find the ones that seem like the best match for that monster, dump the results into an LLM to allow the LLM to process that, and pick which truly is the best haunted house for this monster. And here we are recommending the Wigger Hollow for the pumpkin fiend. Looks like a pretty good recommendation to me. Now that we've gone over what we're building, let's get to it. I might be working with two data sets today. My haunted houses data set, so hauntology houses. We have a house ID, that's going to be our primary key. We have the name, the location, the vibe, and the description. We look at the description, or if you can expand the column, take a look at some of these descriptions. We're going to be computing embeddings of these descriptions. That takes us to the monsters. Which monsters are going to haunt which house? If you look at the monsters, you'll see that the monsters have an ID, a name, a type, a preferred vibe, mobility, and notes about their preferences. So for example, you don't want Dracula in direct sunlight. Lastly, we have their profile text. We're going to be using this information about the monsters to match them to their perfect haunted house. Now that we've identified our data sets, I'm going to go ahead and make a pipeline that takes these data sets and prepares them for the ontology. To do that, I'm going to go to New, search for a Pipeline Builder, and call this one Haunted House Data Cleaning. It's going to be a batch pipeline, and it's going to use the standard compute. Click Create Pipeline. I'm going to start with adding data. Click on Add Foundry Data. Going to add these two data sets and hit Add Data. For the haunted houses, I'm going to concatenate a couple of things about these haunted houses. So the vibe, the description, the name, and then I'm going to produce an embedding. That's going to help us find the perfect haunted house for every new monster that we hire. So from haunted houses, I'm going to hit transform and call this one produce embeddings. What I'm going to do is compute my embeddings on a concatenation of a couple columns that are useful. I'm going to search for embedding, so text to embedding. The text column will actually be an expression because I don't have yet the concatenated column of all these properties. So I'm going to click on expression and search for concat, that's concatenate strings. For the separator, I'll do a space. And for the expressions, I'm going to put this together to kind of read like natural language. So first expression will be a value. The house is called, I'll end that with a space. And I'm concatenating the name of the house. Next, it will be another value. The vibe of the house is space. And here I'm going to add the description. And lastly, I'm going to say the scare level of the house is, and so here I'm going to put the scare aura, which is our scare rating. To make this more accurate, I'm going to say the scare level of house 1 to 10 is, and then we're going to produce an embedding of that column using text embedding 8 at 2. And I'll call this embedding. Hit apply. And there we have our embedding column. That's all we needed to do for the haunted house. So hit apply and close. Our monsters are actually just fine here. So here, 
I'm just going to produce an ontology output straight from the monsters. So I'm going to hit add output, click on new object type, and call this one monster. For the icon, you can do whatever you want, whatever the most monster-like icon is. Maybe a blocked person. Give it a color. And then for the houses, for the haunted houses, I'm going to hit add output, new object type, and call this haunted house. And for this, I'll use a building icon. Maybe for monster, instead of the person, I can use, make this a color. And then for monster, I'm actually going to go ahead and change that icon to a bug. Some people don't like bugs. We've getting an error because we haven't selected an ontology yet, but we'll do that. So click on edit output settings. For the target ontology, it's going to be ontologized public or whatever ontology you can write to and hit save. Next up, you're going to hit save and deploy and deploy pipeline. Now we're going to hang tight while this pipeline finishes deploying. Once we come back, we're going to go hop into AIP logic and start building our function. Our pipeline is built and deployed. Let's go check to make sure the index to the ontology is complete. To do that, you can right click on either of these outputs, click on open, and open an ontology manager. In ontology manager, we can see by going to data sources that the index process is complete. We can also verify in properties that we have a correctly configured embedding property. And the model that's underlying the embedding has been correctly inferred, which means we're ready to go build. Let's do it. From here or from wherever you are, hit Control J and search for AIP logic. Click on AIP logic, hit new logic, and call this one, your name, haunted, house monster assignment click save and here we go we're in aip logic this function is going to again take in a monster and find the right haunted house for that monster hit add function inputs and the input is going to be a monster not a string but an object so click on object and search for a monster Click on monster. On this drop down at the side, you'll see that we have a drop down list of monsters. You'll notice here that the title key for monsters is the primary key. That might make it a bit hard for us to read. To make this better, if you want to change this so you more easily know which monster you're selecting, you can change the title key by clicking on this arrow and opening the monster and ontology manager. So click on that, going to properties. And setting the name to the title key. And hit save. And save to ontology and save changes. Those changes appear immediately in AIP logic. Because of that change, when we click the drop down, we now get their names. From here, we're going to do a semantic search to identify the haunted houses that are most semantically similar to the monsters. We'll identify the top two candidates for each monster, so which two haunted houses could be most appropriate for them and then leave it to an LLM to summarize it. Click on semantic search, and we'll call this find best haunted house for monster. The object set here, we're going to hit create new object set, and it's going to be haunted house. The property to search is going to be embedding, and the number of return objects, let's start with two. And the query is going to be the monster description. Now let's think about the query. So for the query, this query could actually be a concatenation of a number of things. It could be a concatenation of the preferences and the description. But for now, we're just going to use the description. So click under query, hover over monster, and click on profile text. What we can do is when we feed those results into the LLM, we can provide the other attributes of the monster, like the scare level and the type and the preferences to help the LLM refine the results of that semantic search. To do that, we're going to hit use LLM and call this recommend 
haunted house. We'll say you are an expert at matching the monsters to their perfect haunted house. Given the information on the monster you are given and the recommended haunted houses, identify the best one for the given monster. Justify your explanation. We're not going to do any tools here. It's just going to be digesting the results of that semantic search. So for the task prompt, here's where we're going to input the data. So we'll say monster details. Hit a forward slash. Click on monster. And we'll grab the name, the mobility, the notes. Preferred vibe, profile text, and scare level, and even type. Hit add seven properties. And then we're also going to add in the recommended haunted houses. So we'll hit a forward slash, click on find best haunted house for monster, and grab the description, the location, the name, the vibe, and the scare aura to help the LLM make the best decision. Hit add five properties. You'll see it created an extra block for us that takes out the result of this object set and formats it as a string so we can pass it into the large language model. Let's take it for a spin. To start, we'll select a monster. Let's try Swamp Thing. Hit Preview Run. Let's see what's going on here. So the recommendation is the Soggy Bog. That sounds about right. Sounds totally appropriate. Let's modify the prompt to say, produce a detailed justification in your response. Let's try this again. Very good. So here we have a recommendation. Or maybe Dracula. Dracula, of course, is going to be matched with Blood Manor. This is just going to return a text output, but of course, in future iterations of this, you can have it actually make a decision and actually create that assignment of a monster to a haunted house. But for now, that concludes our work. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this helpful and just a little spooky. Be sure to let us know what sort of AIP content you want to see next in the comments.